guys, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share a quick round of projects that I made. It's part of the Christmas in July 2020 PHA Challenge and that is hosted by Christian's Crafty Adventures here on YouTube. And I will post a link to her video below explaining what the what the challenge is and it's not like a there's no set day to post. She just has a different theme each week that if you are playing along, then you follow along with the themes and you use the hashtag Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge. So I decided to play along because I was already doing Christmas in July on my own anyway and am working through this hope and faith pad from CraftSmart. And the theme, we're in week two, and the theme for this week is tags, bag toppers, and paper bags. So I decided to go with tags. There was a pattern, two sheets of a pattern in this pad that had like all of these little squares and they were all connected and they kind of alternated a gold pattern with a white pattern and it was, you know, a 12 by 12 sheet of these. And I treated them like cut aparts for the most part. But after looking at some of them, I realized that one efficient way to use them would be to make tags out of them. And there were some that could totally stay connected and you would just have a front and a back to a tag. So what I did is looked through all the ones that were still like not, they were attached, not cut apart, just to see which images would work together well so that if I folded it, it wouldn't be backwards or upside down or anything like that. So this was one set of images that I found that seemed to work well and when I fold it in half, you have the nativity scene on the front and then you just have the candle on the back. I did use a little bit of Wink Stella up on the star here at the top, but didn't really do anything else to it. So here's another one, it just has Noel on the front. And for some reason my lighting's weird today, but I did use Wink Stella on the Noel. And then on the back is a wise man. This one is all is calm, all is bright. Backside is a dove. This one actually flips up because it was a star and it was, they were vertical, vertically oriented instead of horizontal. So I just kind of left them that way because it really doesn't matter which direction the star goes. So we have a wise man on the front, that star on the back. And this is just another one of those. This one is peace and joy with Bethlehem on the back. This is another one, a duplicate of before, and this one says, Peace on Earth, Goodwill to All. And I did use some Wink of Stella on the dove there. And then this was just a snowflake, so again, it doesn't matter which direction the snowflake goes. So those are the ones that I could make work out, leaving them attached and just using the paper, that paper on its own. Then there were some that I went ahead, they were either already cut apart or I cut them apart, but used some of the pattern paper scraps I had left from the pad. So this was just kind of a white back or kind of a creamy color background with the gold stars. And so I felt like I could mat, use it as a mat and a card base on this one and you wouldn't be distracted by the tiny, teeny tiny gold stars behind it. So this is that candle image that I did use once on the other tags that I just showed you. And this time I used some Wink Stella, clear Wink Stella on the flame here and then on all the little, I don't know, light rays coming off of the, the candle flame. This again, I just used a navy piece of the pattern paper. And this Snowflake was one of the squares and I just used, I think it was a two inch circle punch that fit this one. Punched it out and then backed it with a little strip of tan cardstock and then this was from a border cut apart. It just says hallelujah. So I did do some layering on that one. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is one again that I used on that white pattern. And I did a little bit of Wink of Stella, clear Wink of Stella on the little stars surrounding the tree. This is the same thing, except for I decided to round the corners on this one. 
This was another one of the squares and it was surrounded by an oval and so I just cut the oval out just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Cut, Fussy cut out the oval that was kind of framed the tree and then it used that same pattern paper as my little mini card mat and then used a strip of green behind it just to help help it pop out a little bit more and then also a little Noel which was part of that same real thin border strip. So this is the same thing except for with a navy uh, strip behind it. So I should mention that these are all just shy of two and a half inches square. So it worked out that I could do a two and a half inch square card. So when I cut it down, like if I was doing this, it was two and a half by five inches and then fold it in half. There were a couple of them that I think are slightly smaller, like this one, which is why the circle worked out well on this one. And these are skinnier, but a little taller. So on a couple of them, I was just using the sizes of the scraps that I had left. But if I were using the full squares here, my card bases, my little mini card bases were two and a half by five. So those all used pattern paper, just pattern paper from the pad. So once I ran out of paper that I could use for these little card bases or scraps, there was probably other paper left, but I was just trying to focus on the scraps. I worked on going through some scraps that I had in my cardstock stash and I was looking for like navy blue, dark red, and like a dark green because it's the jewel tones that are part of this pad, you know, as you can see. So I found one red, I think one green, and then a couple dark blue. So this is navy, and again, it's just using one of the square cut aparts, and these are again two and a half by five inches for the base, and then just cut out, trimmed out that square. This one I did use a little bit of gold wink of Stella on the actual tree. The gold wink of Stella doesn't sparkle quite as much as the clear, but it does add like a little bit of kind of non-dimensional texture. It just gives it the look of texture on the card. So this is the same thing. It's just on like more of a tealy color blue, but I did the gold wink of Stella on that tree as well. This one is just the scene of Bethlehem, and this is on, I think, that teal color also. And I did pull in another one of those little words from that border cut apart that says hope. And then on the insides, I did put, since these are all dark card bases, I did add a small piece, I think a two and a quarter square inch piece of cream paper just so that there's a place that a message can be written. So this one is on kind of like a deep red. And then again, just have the nativity scene and then one of the little words from a border cut apart. Those were all like the little folded cards and I had some pieces left that I thought I could do some more tag type tags. Um, but these can easily, can still be included as a gift tag on a present, either on a bag, you can punch a hole in it, put it on a bag, you can punch a hole, tie it onto a bow on a, present, a wrapped present, or tape it down. So these are all gift tags to me as well. They're just mini cards in the form of mini cards. So this one is a true tag shape. And this was actually the what I had left of the border cut apart page. And it was, I think I trimmed a little bit off the top. It had some like it had the word all or the or something left on here. I had, after I had cut down something else, that's what I had left. So I just trimmed that off and made the red border strip kind of the top of the tag. Used my angle punch, my half inch angle punch to give the, the top of the tag those angled corners and then I did round the corners at the bottom. And then this is part of that border strip that had all the little words on it as well. And so I just found three that kind of would fit together on a width that came just outside of the actual tag width. So it ended up being Grace, Peace, and Rejoice. And then this one was a journal card. 
And so I just rounded the corners and then I had a strip of this kind of gold flourish paper and trimmed it down so that it was just wider than my tag. I think the tag is three inches. I think I made this like three and a half. So I'd have a quarter inch overhang on each side and did the fishtail on each end. And then this is one of those square cut aparts that I punched out with a two inch circle. It was like the perfect width to fit inside the circle. And then I wanted to add, because this one, it had some, there's like four or five lines, I think five lines that I had so that you could like write something in each line. And I was trying to cover up these two at the bottom. And so I just used some of the same gold paper because I didn't, I don't have like a, I don't know. I felt like this cream, I have like a dark vanilla, like a more of a vanilla and then I have a white. I don't have anything like that, that in between. And so stamping on either the white or the cream just seemed weird, it didn't go well. So I just stamped onto that same gold pattern here in some black ink so that it would stand out and then attach that down at the bottom. So for this week's theme for the Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge, I made 20 tags using scraps and bits from my Hope and Faith pad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got some ideas on maybe how to use some of the scraps that you may find in your Christmas theme pads. But again, I will leave Christian's original challenge video in the description box below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I thank you so much for your time and I hope you're having a crafty day, whether it's Christmas crafting or normal crafting, just as long as you're having a crafty day. Talk to you later.